it is Maddie Capoza and I'm finally back with another video. I'm sorry it has been so long since my last post. I've been so busy. I was finishing up school. I've been doing so much traveling. Finally here for like a week and then I'm gonna be traveling again and then more and then more. So I had the idea to do a huge try on haul. Um, I know that there have been all of these sites that have been coming up recently like Zaful, Shine, tons of other ones and a wish and they are really really cute cheap clothing i've never done a try on haul ever it's really not my thing this is the first try on haul i will ever be doing i don't know i just really don't feel comfortable showing my body to the world but i know how much i watch try on hauls literally before any time i buy off of a site i look and see if there's a try on haul for it to start off i don't want you guys to think that I'm doing this video because I'm super duper confident of my body because that is not true at all. I'm doing this video because I know how helpful they are and it's summertime and bathing suits can be so expensive. Outfits, two pieces can be so expensive. So it's really nice to kind of see people trying on outfits that you are interested in. Before I kind of start this video, I just like wanted to let you guys know that um, I am not necessarily the most secure person with my body. There are tons of things I wish I could change. Negative comments don't really do anything um, but just say the stuff that I already know. So there's no point in making negative comments. I feel like social media should be a place where you make people feel good about themselves, not necessarily try to make someone feel bad about themselves. So just to throw that out there before this video kind of starts, um, yeah. I don't even remember what these look like because it was so long ago that I ordered them. That is definitely one con about Zaful. It takes a very long time to receive your clothes. This one, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I did try this one on already but I figured that I would throw it in for the video. I took a picture with it on Instagram. I do like this one, but I figured that I would try it on for the video anyways. But all the rest, I have not yet tried on. I have a total of six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, six outfits, both bathing suits and two pieces, like two sets of clothing. So the first outfit is the one that I already tried on. This is a sunflower outfit, super cute. This is the top and this is the bottom, the bottoms. Super cute shorts. The only thing is about the quality is it kind of like, it doesn't stretch, it's not stretchy. So don't plan on getting super small size shorts and think that it just stretches because it really doesn't. The only thing that stretches is the band. It's really not that bad of a quality for the price. So this outfit is Super cute. I love this outfit. The one thing that is a little bit weird is that there's no tag. So like the shorts could be backwards. This could be backwards. I have no idea, but I think it just means um, they can really be worn either way. It's not really flattering because when there's no tags, I feel like it's kind of like, oh, so this is the front and it could be just as baggy as the back, which my opinion shouldn't necessarily be that way. I feel like there should be tag and there should be a back and a front because this doesn't really flatter but I think it's a really cute outfit to wear to the beach, to wear to dinner, whatever. But, um, I kind of forget what this is. Oh, this is another two-piece bottoms. Kind of feels like shorts you would wear over a bathing suit. Cute. The sides are short compared to the middle and then the top, oh my god. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know where I would wear this. This is like just super like... This is honestly really cute. You can't wear a bra with it, which is kind of like... Not really, I hate not wearing a bra because I have no tits. But this is really cute to wear at the beach. This is probably my favorite that I've tried on so far because it fits the best. The shorts come up on the sides and come down in the front and in the back. I honestly really like this one. The downside of this is there's no padding and you can't wear a bra with it because of the back. But I think this is really cute. This outfit, I was actually super excited about. Not sure how, oh. Oh, so I guess this goes on like this. 
this is the back and then buttons together in the front this is a really good quality actually really nice quality it's kind of stretchy kind of like a stopped jean material this is really cute i like the back and then this is the skirt that goes with it this looks super small i don't know hopefully this looks good on really sure so this outfit i absolutely love i'm probably gonna be posting a picture on instagram wearing this so if you want to follow me the only downside is that the back this is a little bit big just because like my torso is super thin and <laughs> this skirt is super super short i could not wear this in public 100 percent no i could wear like the shirt maybe with some jeans but it's still really big in the back front looks totally cool it looks perfectly fine the skirt kind of comes down here super cute but they just needed to take some of this down stuff to put it back here because that is just super 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 short a really cute outfit if you're down to like go clubbing if you have a little bit bigger of a waist than me maybe bigger boobs i think that's the problem my boobs are bigger would fit but i'm part of the small titty gang so it's still really cute just not really my type of skankiness, I guess. I definitely wouldn't wear this in public. The bathing suit. These bottoms with buttons. Really nice material. This is actually a really, really nice material for a bathing suit. And the top has the same buttons. Padding is really weird on this. I feel like you can just see the padding right through it. You can't really see with the camera, but looking at it, I can literally just see the padding right through the bathing suit. Probably will be able to see the padding <laughs> trying it on, so that's nice, but this is really ugly. I don't like this. You can literally see the padding. I mean, you can't really see it on the video. The bottoms are really small, but I like how the buttons are. The pants fit in the front, but the top is just kind of big. Has adjustable straps, and it's as tight as it goes, and it's still kind of big. I feel like whenever it gets wet, it'll get more big. I always get so out of breath when I take these videos and I have no idea why. But it's cute, it's just uh, not very flattering. Looking in a mirror, I see the padding, like the circle padding. So whenever it gets wet, I'm sure it would be even worse. But it's really cute. Other than that, the bottoms are kind of small, but I feel like that's just kind of how all of these bottoms are. You can't get a medium and a small top, which actually is another con to this site. You can only get small and a small. This is a marble bathing suit, which looks nothing like the picture, but that's fine. The padding feels really like weird. There's two pat, two things of padding. There is, I don't know. This just feels weird. Feels like a bathing suit material. It's, the front's thick. The front has like two pieces, but the back feels kind of thin, but that doesn't really matter because it's in the back. So like, looks kind of big, but bottoms. Oh my God. Oh my God, these are super cheeky. I don't know if I'm going to show this part in the video. So hard nowadays to find bathing suit bottoms that don't show your entire ass. So this is really, really cute. I really like this, but negative, the top is a little bit big. If you have bigger boobs, this would totally fit you. This is just like really, really baggy on me. The butt fits, this all fits, but it's super cheeky in the back. I'm not gonna show you because my whole ass is basically hanging out. It's cute. I think it's pretty cute, but the bottoms, way too cheeky for me definitely just not something i would wear if there was a little bit more material on the back totally fine i just feel like they took the material from the back and put it on the top last but not least is a bathing suit this is yellow bathing suit this really not that bad of a quality this is the top actually pretty good quality for how much it costs it's kind of like a ribbed material it has padding in it which is good i feel like a lot of cheap bathing suits just kind of leave you hanging on that and then these are the bottoms bottoms look like they fit pretty good 
I know like a lot of bottoms can look really cheeky and be completely exposed. So this, honestly, the top fits really well, but the bottoms are very, very small. Um, definitely could have gotten a medium in the bottoms. These are both, both small, top fits pretty well. One thing that I really like is that it came with straps. Super cute, but the bottoms just don't fit. Super tight, I feel like I have like four ass cheeks in this. But, you know, but honestly, I could probably wear this to the beach. I don't think it's that bad. All right, so to wrap up this video, for the prices that Zaffle has, all of these clothes are honestly really, really nice quality. Some of them, you know, are a little bit of a bad quality, like some of the bathing suits and the sunflower outfit. I almost feel like the bags they spend more money on than making the clothes. I like all the outfits. I probably won't end up wearing any of them. The sunflower outfit and the white tracksuit type outfit could definitely see myself wearing. But the bathing suits, I feel like either the top fit, the bottoms didn't fit, or the bottoms fit and the top didn't fit. Other than that, Zaffle, I gave you a thumbs up to buy things off of Zaffle, especially the things that I got. If you kind of compare your measurements to mine, um, and if you think some things would fit you differently, I would 100% go for it because all of these clothing are made from very good material. It's not like stuff that I've ordered on Wish or AliExpress. Those clothes are very cheaply made, very thin, basically see-through, no padding, extremely like five sizes too small. Zaffle is very reasonable with their sizes and you know, I would probably buy from Zaffle again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. Comment some video ideas. I definitely wanna get back into YouTube this summer now that I'm kind of like settling down. I do have a little bit more traveling to do, but I'm going to have a lot more free time than I have the past couple of months. So I definitely wanna do videos that you guys wanna see. Um, follow my social medias, everything's down below. And please be sure to leave a thumbs up, like this video, even if you didn't like this video, leave a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Thank you guys. For